Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat and Atria. In this tutorial, you're going to be learning how you can easily color grade your headshots in Photoshop. So I know so many of you don't have Capture One as a raw processing software. So sometimes you take photos and you want to color grade them almost the same way you do it in Capture One. And this tutorial is going to be focusing more on how you can easily color grade within the Photoshop integrated camera raw filter. And let's begin right now. And if I told you learn a thing or two from this tutorial, I request that you hit the like button on this video because it's going to help YouTube push and recommend this tutorial to many people out there. So this is the camera interface and mine is slightly odd because I know so many beginners out there can't upgrade their Photoshop and that is why I've still failed to upgrade my camera or my Photoshop. So I'm using camera Raw version 12.4. And you can see this is a raw file taken using a Canon 6D camera. And I also have the behind the scenes for shooting this image. Whereby I use only a speed light. And you can check it on this channel. Then you can see details below here. You can see this is a 16-bit image. And it is a 20 megapixel image. And the pixels per inch is 300 pixels per inch. And the screen resolution is set to... Or the sharpening is for screen and it is set to the maximum so if i told you want to change this later on as you're trying to work on your images you simply left click right down here and it's going to open up the preferences within the camera raw filter and always make sure the color space is adobe rgb and the bit depth is 16 bit because when you try to retouch a 16 bit image you retain so much information within a 16 bit image so image sizing i prefer not to tamper with this but i prefer this to be 300 pixels per inch then output output sharpening rather i prefer sharpen for i make sure i check this option then i select sharpen for screen because most people are going to view the image on social media because i prefer to post mine on social media so i will prefer the image to be sharp on the screen and the amount is high so this is how i set this and once you set or you put in these settings you're going to retain them every single time you open up the camera filter so i'm just going to simply click on ok so let's look at a quick before and after of the image this is the before and this is the after before after so i'm just going to come and i reset everything to the defaults sorry i have to cancel this so i have to reset the image to the default so this is what the image looked I like the raw file straight out of the camera so the very first thing i tend to do when it comes to retouching or color grading raw images remember as i usually tell you in most of my behind the scenes videos that i shoot in landscape as a picture style so with this i have to first of all match the image that it was looking like at the back of my camera screen by coming through the profile right here and simply choosing landscape and you can see as soon as I do that, the image is going to gain a little bit of the vibrance and it's going to gain some color or some saturation. So this usually is possible if at all you shoot RAW. So if at all you have a JPEG file, it means that you won't be able to access the profile option within your camera RAW filter or interface. So after that, the other thing you have to take into consideration before you even color grade, always make sure that you shoot the image as warm as possible because sometimes tampering around with the temperature slider doesn't give you the exact or the right results so always make sure that you shoot the images in a warm temperature and the skin tone is going to be captured straight within the information in the raw file so you can notice that mine is around 6000 kelvins so just going to start color grading this image enough for you talking so I'm just going to come to the helix. So what I do, I take the helix down and also take the whites down to get back information within the blown out areas within uh, the highlights or where the, the light was hitting so much on the model's face. Then I come and I take my blacks slightly down. Then I open up my shadows a little bit. So after that, I just come and turn up the contrast because I prefer images to be a little bit contrasty. So you can see a quick before and after. So we're just going to come straight to our color mixer tool within the camera filter or 
some people you have maybe hsl panel so whichever you have so you can just click click left click and drop down so what i'm going to do, i'm just going to come to my hue and i'm just going to come to the yellows and i'm just going to hue the yellows towards the green so that the model can really stand out you can see that before she was really contradicting with the background so i'm just, I'm just going to take this up and eliminate the yellows within the leaves in the background and i'll also come to the greens and simply take it a little bit down towards the yellows then i'll come to my saturation and simply reduce on the intensity or the saturation of the green color because it was a little bit too much at around negative 38 we are fine then we are going to come to the luminance and under luminance what i tend to do i prefer to work on the skin tone so i just come to the oranges remember the skin usually has more or prominent oranges so i'm just going to come to my oranges and i'll simply drop down remember luminance is the brightness or darkness of a given color so the more you take the oranges down the darker it is going to make the orange color and the more you take it up the more it is going to brighten that given color or the orange color so i'm just going to darken the oranges to get a little bit more of a richer skin tone complexion after around negative 15 so this is a quick before and after before after so you can notice that the image really looks great and it looks really vibrant and most of you are asking me how i did the color grading so this is basically how i did the color grading for the image so i'm just going to come to my hues and i'm just going to come to the reds and hue them towards the oranges just a little bit then i'll also hue my oranges towards the reds a little bit around negative too so this is a quick before and after for the color grading of this very image so this is how you can easily color grade your images in photoshop using the camera raw filter within photoshop so this is it for this tutorial and if i told you i've loved this don't forget to like this video because it helps youtube push and recommend this video to many people out there ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you yet more tutorials on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating